In this video, I'm going to be using the stitch dot diamonds and the plain diamonds to make a simple card with the background, the frames and everything. So I'm going to start by creating the frame. So here I've got two colours of purple card in the linen and I'm going to start with the darker shade. So I'm going to choose dyes to start with from the stitch dot. So I'm going to take the size that I want. So I'm going to use die number four and I'm going to use die number five and that's counting from the outside in. So the first thing I want to do is just position these and the easiest way when I'm using two that are very similar is to separate the dies out, take a long piece of tape and pick up the first die. Use the extra pieces of the tape as a handle. I'm then going to pull in the second piece and this allows me to hover over and make sure I get those four points correct and that way I can pick it up. Now your instincts will be to cut this this way but of course that will be a waste of card if you look you can actually do it on a slant and you could actually use the shape this way and that means that you're actually using less card and all we're going to do is to run that through and cut that so while that's cutting what I've also done is I've taken the plain dies and I've taken the next size in those and I've cut out a plain white diamond. So because I've switched into using the planes, this will be slightly larger than the frame I create. So I'm going to take our frame piece out. I'll just peel this out of the dies. There we go. We can see we've actually got a piece. I've got a little bit there. If this happens sometimes because your pressure's not right or you're not in the right place, we're just going to trim that off. So you can see there, I've got a nice little frame. However, I want to add some more colour onto this. So I'm going to take the white away. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use spray glue. So I'm just going to get a light spray of glue onto this. So when you're doing this technique, you want to use something like some spray glue or something like your Craft Artist Glue Glaze, a quick drying dry glue, because if you use a wet glue on this, the pressure in the machine can squeeze the glue out of the end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the larger die that I did, and I'm going to slot that back into place. I'm then going to take the next die down in the stitch dot. And I'm going to place that into place. I'm going to then take those down and we'll run that through the machine and cut it. There is an alternate way you can do this. You can actually take the larger die and cut yourself a diamond of the darker color or the lighter color first and then stick the frame on to just cut the center through. But I've already done that, so I'm gonna move that away. And when I get that out, you can see there, because I've changed color, it looks like I've got depth and dimension in there, but I actually haven't. If I move this a little bit closer, you can see that. And all I've done, I've added a little bit of foam tape on. So what we need to do now is to cut the next layer in this set. So I'm going to take the white piece, when I locate it. So I'm going to take the white piece and I'm just going to put the diamond frames on. So I've got a nice frame all the way around. And I'm just gonna tape that down to my table so that I keep it in place. I'm then going to go into the plain diamonds and find one that gives me a nice little frame place it around so that I get that nice little edging piece and I'm going to tape that and I want to make sure I tape it so that I'm not touching this outer frame because I can just slip that off and then we will run this piece through. So I'm going to run this piece through my machine and get that central diamond cut out. 
while that's running out, you'll notice that what I've done already is I've put some foam tape on the back of here. And you'll notice that if you use a die, then miss a die, if that makes sense. So you would use, say number one, miss two, and cut number three. The width of the actual framing is at 10 millimeters, which makes it the perfect size to fit your standard foam tape. So you don't have to worry about foam tape showing on the front. So I'm gonna take this out, take my frame, and just frame that into place. So I've got a lovely 3D looking frame, really simply. And it looks as if it's a lot deeper than it actually is because we've played with color. So what I want to do now is to make a background. So I've taken a piece of my double-sided adhesive and just stuck it down to a plain piece of white card. I'm simply going to then remove the covering sheet. I don't know why I went in with this. It's a lot easier by hand, sorry. It's a lot easier just using your hand. So I've then got a piece of sticky and I can use the carrier sheet just to give me a place to hold to make sure it's right. Now, what I've then done is taken any, and you can choose any of these diamond shapes. I've actually chosen, I think it's number 12 on this one. And I've cut this repeatedly out of the two colours. So I've got a set of them cut in the darker plum and then in the purpley colour. So I'm going to choose one of those to be my central piece. So I'm going to put that on just in the centre. I'm then going to take the next colour and butt it up. This is what I love about geometric shapes. They tessellate absolutely beautifully. So I'm going to repeat putting those on just going round and matching the colours up almost in stripes. And there is a demonstration that I've done using the squares where I show how you can cut a square out of the centre or a diamond from the centre. You could do the same with this. So I'm just going to make sure that I match it up. So always go edge to edge. Don't try and lay your diamonds across. So we'll just go across like that. I'm going to put one more in because I'm going to show you what we do at the bottom. So I'm going to slot that piece in. And as you can see, that hangs over quite a lot. So rather than wasting more card and more pieces, I'm going to just trim that out. And if I put a piece in here, you'll be able to see that piece is just the right size to fit there. So I'm not wasting a full triangle. And there we go. And we'll continue like that, putting each piece down until I'm happy, making sure that you trim off the extra pieces because you'll find they're useful elsewhere. So you use less of the diamonds than you think you would. So I'm gonna bring in one now that I've already done. So this is a piece I've already done. And what I've done is stamped in the center, the sentiment, because I'm going to put my frame around that sentiment. And I get a really nice sort of little argyle type print in there. So I'm going to turn that over and we're going to add a little bit of foam tape onto this just to raise it up again. So a little bit of foam tape on each piece. And when you're doing a frame like this, I find it's really useful to actually have foam tape everywhere rather than little dots of it. Um, it makes sure that it's completely stable and it looks nicer from the side than you're looking in and seeing lots of little squares. But again, it's your personal preference. So we'll just take this foam tape off really simply. And then we're going to frame our central piece. So looking from above, make sure you've got it nicely framed. Match the points to the points. We'll stick that down. And then to finish, there's a little bit more foam tape. I do like a dimensional card on the back. And I've made a set of mats and layers of the white, the plum colour and the sort of amethyst colour that you can go on to with a slightly larger card blank so that these points don't stick out too much. So we'll bring that in there. And all I'm going to do is place that nicely in the centre, giving a nice border all the way around. And there we've got a very simple card, but beautifully effective. All the patterns show. And all we've done is use 
the stitched up di diamonds and the plain diamonds.